Best is your it's tackling. A good quarter, isn't it? They kicked five goals. They've won the footy. They've tackled well. That was a good. That's a good quarter of football, Rich by Richmond. Because we like Choco, we've just heard it wasn't a phone. It just looked like a phone. <laughs> what was it? Not sure. It looks like simile. a phone and smells like a phone. <laughs> 20 points to the margin, Fife digs it out of the middle, sweeping kick inside the forward 50, up in front Bradley couldn't hang on, lurching after the football is Hooley, he's got it, wishes he didn't, opportunity now for Walters, still Walters, couldn't get any purchase on the football, Barlow could, and he just misses. It's busy Walters isn't he, he really has obviously reaping the benefits from a big summer. He just looks lively and dangerous every time the ball goes near him in the forward 50 for the Dockers. And by comparison, Valentine looks quite pedestrian, doesn't yep. he? Walters is the danger man down there on the forward line. Yep. Newman bringing it in. Good first term. That's a big kick outside the defensive 50. Almost the big mark in front to by Marich. Edwards, well, he thought Marich was a little more nimble than he proved to be. Griffin. That's an interesting kick close to the boundary line. Some difficult calls on that boundary line on the outer side. That one was fisted out. Another team, Richmond played, uh, I should say the Dockers played uh, man to man on that kick out. The old zone defence has pretty much fallen out of favour. Marich and Griffin. Marich got hands to it first. Here's Hill. Mazungu uses him coming back the other way, the right way. Main free kick maybe or Walters at the back. I think the umpire has paid the free kick. It's Chris's ball. Yep. Mzungu busy. And have a look at this. You'll see the free kick there. Walters, well, either way, it was going to work yeah. out Fremantle's way. Found a lot of space, Walters. Uh, direct matchup. Who is he? It's Basha Hawley, I think, Lee. Yeah, he just, he just let him go completely. So, Chris Main with... Nine goals for the season. He's kicked one already tonight. He kicked a couple last week against the Hawks. He's so accurate. He's made himself accurate. It's back to 13 points. So better from Fremantle. A much better start to this second term. Slow out of the blocks last week. Slow out of the blocks tonight. mazungu has been good, hasn't he? He was the one who kicked it into Walters where Main got the free kick but um, had, a, had a big first got, quarter got, down back but uh, it's been important for the Dockers so far. He's up to seven disposals. What do we reckon? Yeah, there's a free kick being paid here at Wait centre half forward. As the ball was coming back to the centre, there was a confrontation between Ryan there Crowley, go, Ryan, that man there, you and young Brad Helbig. Crowley went to ground and was awarded the free kick. Surprise, surprise. Crowley's got the football. Kicking from about 70. Long one down towards full forward. They come from all angles. Pettit did well. Got a first on it. Knocked it back across the line. So Chris Mayne, eight goals for the season. He's a player on Friday nights. Got three of nine against the Bombers a fortnight ago. Working in front. Griffin. Marich very keen not to get a hand in his back. Cochin. Another possession. And that's quite effective too as it bounces out of bounds. Right in front of Ray Chamberlain there by Helby on Crowley. That's um, not very smart, is it? Not very smart on the buckle of news. Earned yourself a free kick. 13 points, Richmond's way. Marriage well done decisively. Mazungu not for the first time, bringing it back inside 50. Well done by Griggy. Chopped it off. It wasn't a mark. He had to kick quickly. Vickery, well done. Dawson was over the shoulder there. No free. Spur gathers to Hill. Mazungu back to Hill. He can come inside. Johnson it is. Defensive edge of the square and now they can switch it on broadcast side. Here's Fife. Gathers the footy. Looks upfield. He goes low and flat. That's a great kick to Mundy. Just outside 50. A little beyond him here. So he goes towards Crowley. No mark through Barlow's legs. Kepler Bradley trying to get his kick away. He did get it away. Back towards the goal line. Push out there, perhaps for Valentine. How big it was with him. It beats that contest and runs through for a behind. Lucky on that occasion, the Tigers. Crowley almost took an uncontested mark. One thing that Brett Delio can control in that matchup is the way he works defensively. I mean, Crowley's pushing hard. Forward. He's just got to show a bit more intent to man him up. Someone's down very sore. It's uh, Kepler Bradley. Greg out of the back pocket towards the outer side. Griffin, big leap from behind. 
Hits his own crumb as it turned out to Hill. Fremantle starting to surge now. Hill goes inside the forward 50. Very dangerous. Walters is getting a free kick. I'll tell you yep. one thing you'd want to be doing if you're a Richmond. Whoever's your closest checking small defender, get yep. him onto Walters. Yep. Because he, so. he's the danger man in the forward Hayden, third for Hayden, the Dockers. Hayden, what are you doing, mate? Right. you got the footy. There's Brand a man who gives yeah, oh, sorry, you're right. 100% always. Kepler Bradley. Three goals last week. But... He puts his body on the line and often pays the price. I'm no doctor, but I don't think we'll see him back tonight. Hello, Kepler? You never know. Walters going at his second then, directly in front. He's so accurate. Puts it through. And momentum is suddenly wearing purple. Couple for Michael Walters and now Fremantle of, uh, well relaxed into this game I think is the right word for it I looked all at sea early and this is where Kepler Bradley hurt himself it's that right knee you think Tom a bit of hyper extension I reckon there Baz yeah. Just, just watch Kepler Bradley's right knee here. I think he goes in and kick into Grimes, gets the oh, hyper extensions. That will be mm. quite sore, but hopefully structurally not too bad. Jeez, it does give a bit of whiplash, doesn't it? Let's get down to Richo. Yeah, Baz, right in front of me here now. They're testing his knee, but he's really pointing to the outside of his right knee. As Thank Tom you. said, the old whiplash action. So they're testing all the ligaments now, but looks pretty sore, Kepler. That's really bad luck for Kepler Bradley, if indeed that's his night done. He kicked three goals last week, a valiant effort. Standing in, of course, for Matthew Pavlich as the key target down forward. Matthew Pavlich joining us at halftime, the Fremantle skipper of Achilles surgery during the week. Ball booted towards midfield. Edwards. Did that well. Ibbotson did better. Brilliant tackle. Now Lockie Neal on the ground. He was slow to get the ball moving. Here's White. He had it. Lost it. Barlow escorted the football out of the contest and we're going to have it bounced. Thank you. And no prior opportunity. Just have to make a general attempt. 26 to 32. And Subban, who was subbed off pretty early last week, Tom. He was. Very early. Warming up. Got a reprieve, came back into the side. Main with a strong tackle. Opportunity for Batchelor, found a way through. Too slick though for Rance. How about that? Tunneling through the legs. Valentine gave it to the ball. Kicks inside the forward 50. Helbig play on the call. Swung by Walters. Picked up by Jackson. Feeds it out to Ellis. Ellis breaks away from half back and comes towards half forward. Clancy Pierce could have been held. No free kick. McFarlane back to Pierce. Pierce running out of space, but. That is a lovely kick. Under pressure, not so much by a player, but just the fact that the boundary line was looming. Got it to Griffin. Kicks towards half forward. Rance, juggled attempt at the mark. Well done. Real test here now for Richmond. Last week they were bombarded by Essendon in that third quarter. Frio's pressure has gone up. It's really elite at the moment. The Tigers have to uh, regain some control of the footy here. So Deledio has the football. Interesting, Richo, to that point as well. Knights had 11 disposals at quarter time. He's still on 11, and Cochin had 11. He's only crept up to 12. So oh, yeah. Fremantle have certainly done a better job at manning up on those key ball users. Helby got it from Grigg. It's back to Grigg now. Out of side with a short kick. Needs to be precise. That's and just it uh, is. quickly interrupt. Uh, Bradley has been subbed out of the game. So Bradley gone, and Subin is in, so... Almost at the corresponding point of when he was subbed out last week. Here's Grigg. They just got it away. Not quite out of danger, or maybe it will be now. That's a good mark by the first gamer. Floston really showed something tonight in his first quarter and a bit. Marich couldn't mark. Well done by Pierce. Griffin at the back for Barlow. Squeezes a short one. Mazungu. Cochin did well. He got in there, laid an important tackle. Spur got a kick out of midair. Bouncing ball towards half forward. Hooley meets it and kicks. To no man's land. Bounces towards the boundary. Edwards won't reel it in. Goes out. Good result for Fremantle. That not such a good result for Fremantle. Kepler Bradley looking on with a nice back on his knee. And he's seen it all before. And felt it all before. We wish him well. Boundary throw in. Marriage over the top. With him getting a free kick. Just six points for difference. Mazungu realizes Hills are a fair bit quicker than him. And he's quick, but 
Hill goes through the center square. Nicely done. Mundy has it. Dropping back. A chance now for Serban. Serban closing on goal. Under pressure. Just squeezed up on his left foot. The man was coming at the left side. And he misses as a result. That was the great interchange there. Subban is, of course, uh, just come on for Bradley. Came on at the perfect time to get that opportunity to have a shot at goal. Gold sack straight onto the ground yesterday with a quick goal. And Subban, it's a sliding doors moment, isn't it, Tommy? Kicks that goal. His confidence could have been sky high. As it is, Vickery's kick a dangerous one. And Pierce is marked. That's the mark. He looked to take a step, but the umpire says it's OK. And so the man on the mark right on the 50. Well, not a good kick from Vickery, and that's a good kick to Hill. Isn't that shocking? Yep. Defensive uh, third work. Then uh, Vickery's kicked the ball 20 metres to his target, and missed him by five. So a chance now for Stephen Hill to put Fremantle in front for the first time tonight. Hill, he was good last week. He's been busy tonight from virtually directly in front. And Fremantle are in front for the first time this evening. From the era, easy as you like. Pierce to Hill and a goal. And the Dockers take the lead. Yes, it's one thing to turn the ball over, and it's another thing to allow a, a, a second Fremantle player to pop up in the centre corridor. Now, this will make Damien Hardwick really angry. It was a one step kick, really low percentage. You see the body language of Vickery. It's just got to get into a dangerous spot. It wasn't so much the kick you'd be frustrated about. It's a defensive effort to block some space. Vickery on the way down. Got it to Edwards. Hurriedly over his shoulder towards half forward. Ibbotson. Lifting back. Takes the mark. On the line of the square. Some indecision. Looks to our broadcast side. The northern side of the ground. Sets it up for Johnson. Coming back hard. McGuan. But illegally. So Johnson's got the free. Johnson is back inside the centre square. The confidence growing with these Dockers. Man on, in fact, a couple of them to the outer side. McFarlane just jabs it wider still. Neil has it. Thought about going to Pierce. That's Daniel Pierce. Kicks inside the forward 50 now, though. Almost made. Slides across his chest. Ballantyne worked off the line of the ball by Batchelor. In goes Barlow. Spinning out of trouble. De Boer snaps. And kicks it behind. Just what often thought under pressure the Richmond defence can look shaky, and I think that's exactly what they have been for this last five or ten minutes. The ball's getting in there, and they're uh, they're just looking like almost conceding a score by just being a bit panicky. Ellis has got the footy inside 50s eight zip this term, Lee. They haven't yeah. gone inside 50 in this quarter. It's a quarter that's nearly 13 minutes old. Here's McGuan close to the line. The handball inside. They've done that okay. Knights, he got it away, but then the kick was smothered. It was Floston going forward now. Is it ricocheted out of bounds on yep. the full top? Yep. Okay. So it's Mundy's uh, below the knee. So Floston into Knights. 50 metres into the protected area. 50 metres. It was running through. We heard the umpire say yep. in the protected area. Yes, mate, yes. It was, uh, it was actually really well played there by Dustin Martin. We had... Sorry, not well, not well played. played. Well played by... Um... Uh, in the protected area. Run your cup, Sorry, please, Chris. You got it. Dragged yep. his player through. Yep. Dragged, his, play, dragged yep. his player in. That's what I was go. getting. Got myself confused. So, Knights has kicked a goal tonight. This is the his first possession of the second term after 11 in the opening term. A kick from right on the 50 gets very high. That's a very good looking kick. Knights has got his second, and Richmond are back in front. It's nice to get a bit of luck, isn't it? When uh, when the opposition give a 50 metre penalty, all of a sudden they couldn't get the ball into their forward line. Well, that got them there. And uh, well, a double bit of luck, wasn't it? Because the out of bounds on the full was yeah, a very yeah. fortuitous one. And yep. then the 50, the bonus inside 50. And the Tigers back in front. They lead it by four points.
It's been valuable, the one inside 50 for the Tigers from a 50-metre penalty he gets a goal. This ruck contest, Griffin is actually doing marriage, I reckon, in the ruck contest. He just looks like he's just outreaching marriage. Let's see what happens this time. Tigers by four. Their biggest lead was 20. Valentine taken down alongside the centre circle. So the umpire will do the business again. It was actually Hannah, the other ruckman, but both, both the Fremantle ruckmen just look like they're just getting a little bit higher than, uh, than marriage at these ruck contests. Marich over the top, Greg sensing the same thing as Lee. Third man up, and Marich did the roving. He kicks it down a board tap for Johnson, playing well, leads in the race to the ball, tackled and taken down. Knights, one of three Tigers around the footy. Cochin generally uses the football, and that's no exception. Edwards is about 55 metres out. Rebold is short. McGuan offers a deeper lead. Marriage, though, is the target. Ballantyne, well, he tunnelled it, and the umpire thought about it and decided he would give a three to the big man. Initially, it looked like really good work by Ballantyne. Hannah actually pushed deeper inside the defensive 50 to kill it. Fuel the hole and Ballantyne goes to help out, but that's a tunnel. Yeah, and that's yeah. a free kick. Yeah. So Ivan directly in front, about 40 metres out. I don't think there's a lot of chance that Ballantyne was going to jump and spoil. <laughs> so I guess you can just all you can do is test the umpire. There's Martin, the beneficiary of the hand pass, and it's close, swinging violently over the last 10 metres or so, right to left and through for a minor score. Stretches the lead to five. And Walters has got it in the back pocket. Ibbotson in for his first game of the season. He kicks and goes to Walters. Mundy was the target there. And, well, they've done it nicely. Delidio with a big fist over the line. It'll be thrown in. Have a look at this stoppage. Does it look like Delidio's trying to get to Mundy to try and bring the, make the two on? That's good team footy for years. And he looks like that's what he's now, which allows Cochin to drop into a bit of space. Jack Hanneth and Marich. They've rucked against each other in the SANFL. Hanneth with Central Districts. And Marich was back with Port Adelaide. When not playing for the Adelaide Crows. All of that a couple of years ago. Here's De Boer. Now, was he pushed in the back? He was. We saw the umpire at the top of screen. He signalled. And now Crowley with the wristbands. They look like Terry Towling bling. He kicks down inside 50. And at the other end, no mark. But a free kick coming Fremantle's way. Chopping the arms. And that's the byproduct, though, Lee. We saw Delidio go yeah. to... Uh, to Mundy and then Crowley being the experienced player. But that, that, that's where the other fourth Richmond player, which may well have been Martin then, says, well, yep. okay, your direct opponent is Crowley, and Crowley might get his dozen possessions, but yep. he's not going to get 30. That It's just, you've got to just live with Crowley, getting the odd one to try and make that match-up work for Richmond. So Hayden Ballantyne, he hasn't kicked a goal tonight in just 3-4 for the season in 2013. We mentioned earlier that he did miss one game with suspension, but... Michael Walters, in a way, has become the more dangerous small forward. Can Hayden get himself back onto the books? He's generally a very good kick. It went oh. straight at the post and just veered late. Hayden likes it. Frio back in front. Well, we saw him at both ends. He gave away a free kick inside 50 and then did very well on the end of some fast movement by the Fremantle Dockers. And his arms were chopped, he took the free kick, and he did what a good small forward or goal sneak should do, converted. Good game now, Frio, up by a point. Big effort by the Dockers, slow start, working their way on top. Slender margin at the moment on balance of play. So the Dockers are really putting their stamp on this game now. And something special from the Tigers. Off the ground by Griffin inside the forward 50. One way traffic. Hooley comes up, slips a hand pass to Batchelor to Rance. Rance comes out very wide. Is it too wide? No, it was a very good kick. The mark is taken by Ellis. A step in from the line. Eight minutes out from half time. Ellis. It's been good value so far tonight. Just kicks beyond the wing. Griffin is up, stretching, couldn't control it. Jackson pushed off what he was trying to do, and that was a little check side around the corner. Out on the pull, was it? Yes, it was. It's going to Edwards. So against Johnson. Edwards, wasting no time, goes inside the forward 50, and Vickery just reaches over the top and plucks it. 
had his name written all over it. He just separated himself from Zach Dawson. Didn't need to launch at the foot. You just see, just he got the space, saw the ball over the top. It's a rare occasion where Dawson yeah. sort of ignores his opponent yeah. and goes for the footy. Normally he's going to have his body pushing into victory rather than just trying to read the ball in the air. So Ty Pickery lining up his second goal. You'd like him from here. Kick is on the way, straight through the middle. Beautiful stuff. So the Tigers, not to be denied, wrench the lead back. So Vickery getting on the end of it after they got it cleanly out of the centre. And that was a good grab. Hanneth flying to the side of the pack there, really should have. I suppose it's easy to say from up here. Hit the pack a little harder and tried to move everybody. Couldn't get there. A little too plight. He got caught, caught centre corridor and he just couldn't get over for the contest, could he, the Ruckman? Talk tonight how good a job Ryan Crowley's doing on Brett Deledio. Well, Nate Fife was outstanding in that first quarter. But Daniel Jackson in this quarter has kept him to two touches. So the two taggers on each team doing great jobs. Only three inside 50s in this term, Richo, for the Tigers for two goals, one. So they are converting. Pedard off half back. Here's Neil. Over the top for Hill. Clancy Pierce. He sweeps the long handball to Barlow. He had to give that away straight away, and he did it beautifully. Mazungo, unfortunately, slipped over. It's back to Barlow. Close to the line. Bachelor. Big fist over the top of Subin and out of bounds. One metre, please. Thank you. Ross Lyon has never lost a game as coach against the Richmond Tigers. This is his 10th outing as a coach, mainly with St Kilda, of course, a couple of them with Fremantle. He's eight wins and a draw. His marriage. Got it to Edwards. He lost it. Griffin went in hard again. Jackson got a kick out of there. That was well done. Kick towards the wing. Dawson. In game number 100, Vickery behind him, paddling for the line. It stays in. Mazungu's got a bit of work to do here against Martin. Back to Pierce. Now Ibbotson. Short one. Didn't get to McFarlane on the full, so he needs to move it quickly. Johnson's got a player on, and it goes towards Spur. Spur with space up ahead. Little chip on the move, Subin. Cuts back towards the middle on his left peg. Ibbotson. Whoops, Spur, who initiated all of that, left the football behind. Knights, a half chance, wrestled down by Spur. Head down, oh, Spur can't burrow his way out of that. Well, he's going to get a free kick. McGuan, on. that was almost the drive-by head-high tackle. Hill's got it. McGuan was minding his own business on the side Lyon. of the pack. Clancy Pierce to set that last manoeuvre up, decides to give it off again, and they'll try the outer side. This is his namesake, Daniel, around the corner. Hanneth couldn't control it. Grimes gives it off. Lawston, Edwards, Greg, Edwards. Going down is Lawston. Pierce again. He's been very clean, although that was a little ambitious. A tad too clever. Revolt gave it to Grimes. A high ball back, and the mark is taken by McFarlane. He's placed it across to Hill, and Hill covers the centre square to Johnson. Johnson. Got McGuan in the air, takes off, looks inside the forward 50, high ball. Maine is the target almost too. Just spilt it as he came down. Pettit grabs it and kicks for the boundary on the other side, and Dawson takes the mark. Bad news for Richmond is it's coming back in. Got the squeeze on here, Freer. That's how they really built their reputation last year, just pushing Lyon. right up. It's a great attempt to mark there by Maine. Almost Dawson goes with a long one to Bohr at the back. Marriage should have been Gee. paid that mark. He had it a long time. Ball on the deck. Hooley taken high. Crowley got him. Look at the umpire. Some think, oh, I should have paid that mark. So there's a little free kick here. I'll give this one. Mm, I wonder if Maine's hurt himself in this marking contest. He's just a little ginger as he got to his feet. Now that kick out not particularly good. It's going to stay inside. Well done Griffin. Just selling a dummy and then absolutely sinking the slipper into the footy. Ballantyne waiting down. He was dangerous there. The ball off Bachelor's hands and through for a rush behind. Yeah, just watching Chris Main. They look like just jarred his left leg. Might be a good hell of a lot of turf came up when he came down. It's very stiff not to be paid the mark. He'll eat to himself. Runs outside the square, drives it outside the defensive 50. There's going to be a free kick Fremantle's way for a push. No one quite sure whose it is. I think it's going to Johnson. Up ahead, Maine. 
So close. Last time they brought it inside the 50. It's got a big leap. Goes in his direction again. This time, though, Rance, third man in the contest, comes away. Sends it to the outer side. Well read by Dawson. Peeled off. Came to the football and took the mark about 45 metres out. Lays it off to Ballantyne. Ballantyne from 40, and he's put it through. He's got his second, both in this turn, both in the space of about 15 minutes. Well, a man's got to know his limitations. And Dawson did. Zach just gave it across. Ballantyne weaved his way through. Beat one would-be tackler. Got clear. And from long range, put it through. Become such a morale sapper, doesn't it? That's the second goal where Richmond had basically just given the ball back to Fremantle with an errant, uh, an errant kick out of the back 50. See Alex Rance there. Took a really good contested mark, but with Freo with the squeeze on, don't think it was the right time to play on there, Leith. No, absolutely not. Particularly Eddie had to go back to the centre corridor and then he missed the target, which was a difficult kick. So Fremantle back in front here. The last five goals have brought five lead changes. Barlow with a quick kick towards half-forward main. He looks OK now. Walters, dangerous. Well done by Marich. Oh. And that's a high tackle on Jackson. The umpire, well, it was either a slow or a faint whistle, Dan. One or the other. Or, but a, or a heavy whistle. The whistle's there. Yeah, the P can get stuck on. Knights has made an error there. Straight through his hands. He's... To Boar, he got it across to Ibbotson, now taken front on Main, but he got out of the traffic. Well done, he got away from Bachelor and Rance. He sends it long and oh, low. Oh. Ballantyne and Hawley, that's a tremendous spoil, reaching around and fisting for the line. It was punch or concede a goal. That was well done. Gee, that was good. Thrown in inside 50. They're not out of the woods yet, Richmond. Here's Lockie Neal, close to the boundary line. His handball was chopped off and taken by Ellis. Long kick towards half-back. Griffin couldn't mark the ball to the ground. And Crowley's done well on revolt there. Ball over the line. It'll be thrown in. Two and a half minutes out from half-time. Dockers lead it by two. Warm night in Perth. Hill breaks away. Ibbotson too easily through the players. No one really came at him, but he coughs it up. Not his intention, but kicked it straight to Hooley. So Hooley up from the back pocket. You can see they want a short kick their way out of here, Richmond, but every time they start getting into this chip-chip kick, they look like turning the ball over. So a little bit of a problem. I think they identified that Hawthorne were able to kick the ball out of this part of the ground successfully last week against the Dockers. Knights the high ball. McGuan juggled, attempted the mark. Bit stiff there. Tied up by Griffin, and the umpire will move in and bounce it down. The Tigers' biggest lead was 20. So Fremantle will get a half time pretty content if it stays around this mark. Delidio, who's been quiet, to Cochin. Not so. Kicks it down towards half forward. Revolt launches himself and takes a strong one just forward of the wing. So Revolt now realising that the numbers upfield, oh, that's interesting. Cochin hobbling off as the kick comes towards half forward. Johnson goes back and falls over Zach Dawson, but took the mark before he did that. Now, goes across the ground. De Boer has it. Plan! Plan! Paul to go with a minute 25 remaining. He uses Spur on the outside. Lee Spur, short kick. Mark for Daniel Pierce. Time for another goal for either side. I wonder if Fremantle will take this on here, Lee, or will they be content with how it is? They'll try and get it out, but uh, and they've done it fairly. So Richmond are actually pressing up fairly well. They just got to be precise too, the Dockers. So McFarlane's short one for Johnson. Two points is the Dockers' lead. 55 seconds remaining. Not a good kick. Grieg carried forward. Johnson needs to be good here. They're outnumbered. Fremantle, well, they were momentarily. Well done, Five. He arrived, and the kick to Crowley is a beauty. Ballantyne cruising past. Not sure if it was the right option. Well, it was if the kick stuck. Walters was loose. And it's gone off hands. Now, this is the Cochin injury. There's been a bit of this oh, tonight. Come, come across his right ankle. Though. It'll just be a question of whether he's done ligament damage or whether they can re-strap it a bit firmer. Boundary throw in. 36 seconds remaining in the half. 
Delidio demands it back from Edwards, then jabs it in short. McGuan has been a lively forward. Perhaps the pick of them. He's got this ball, the defensive side of the wing. This is where Bickley needs to... Bickley sometimes looks like he thinks they're going to kick it 80 metres. He just doesn't get to the fall of the ball. He's not going to do it again. And his man just came up and almost yeah. marked it. That was Dawson. Dug out of there nicely by McFarlane. Gave it to Spur to Mundy. Back goes McGuan again. Couldn't mark it. Walters came aggressively. Grimes in trouble. Good tackle got him down by Pierce. And Pierce wins the free kick. Daniel Pierce plays on, on the siren, and the ball in flight as the siren sounds. And Fremantle will go to halftime with a the lead. There's Trent Cotchin. A rueful look on his face after that. Damage done low to the ground, as you saw, although he reached for that right knee as well. Well, wait quite comfortable. A report. Yeah, that is encouraging. Halftime on Friday Night Football. Fremantle 7-5, Tigers 7-3. Stay with us.